10 Common Misconceptions About Jehovah's Witnesses Misconception 1. Jehovah's Witnesses Believe Only 144,000 Are Saved The Truth Jehovah's Witnesses Believe There Are Two Sheep Folds, A Little Flock Which Number 144,000, And A Great Crowd Which Number In The Millions. Jehovah's Witnesses Believe Both Sheep Folds Are Saved. Misconception 2. Jehovah's Witnesses are polytheist, who worship a big God Jehovah and a little God Jesus. The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses believe there is only one uncreated God, whose name is Jehovah. Jehovah is the only true God. They believe Jehovah is the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah's Witnesses believe all others called gods in heaven or on earth were either created by God Jehovah or invented by men. For example, pagan deities are myths, a figment of human imagination, an invention of men. Deified humans are false gods because they are worshipped, for example, the Pope. Jesus and the angels are called gods in heaven because they are God-like, mighty ones. Moses and the judges of Israel are called gods because they act as God's spokesmen. Jehovah's Witnesses believe God is a title, and that anything can be called a god inasmuch as the worshipper attributes to it might greater than his own and venerates it. Thus, even money or one's belly could be called a god. Key point, the true god is neither a creation, begotten, nor an invention of men. Misconception 3. Jehovah's Witnesses Do Not Believe in Jesus The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is the Son of God, not God the Son. They also believe Jesus is only begotten, uniquely created, Savior, Lord, and Prince, a mighty God, a God like one, Eternal Father, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit, an angel, a messenger, a missionary, a king and high priest, and a servant of God, Jehovah. Jehovah's Witnesses believe sacred service should be rendered to God, Jehovah, alone. Misconception 4. Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in hell. The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses believe hell is the figurative location where mankind sleeps in death, mankind's common grave, for example, if someone says, go to hell, it means die. Jehovah's Witnesses believe people in hell, or people who are dead, people in the grave, are resting in peace. Jehovah's Witnesses consider Christendom's hellfire doctrine religious nonsense because the dead cannot feel. There is no life after death. The dead do not exist in a state of consciousness. In hellfire, in a paradise section of Hades, hell in a third heaven, in limbo, a now defunct belief, or in purgatory. Misconception number five. Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult. Because they do not celebrate the holidays, they shun their members, they let their children die rather than take life-saving blood, they believe Jesus is an angel, and deny Jesus is Almighty God. The truth Jehovah's Witnesses are not a cult. The churches of Christendom are modern-day institutions of the devil. Their faith is Christian, but the people are not Christians. Point 1. Jehovah's Witnesses do not want their members to be sharers with the demons. Thus, members do not celebrate pagan or patriotic holidays. Point 2. Jehovah's Witnesses shun unrepentant members who commit serious sins because that is what the Bible said to do, 1 Corinthians 5.11. Jehovah's Witnesses shun only members because they would be all alone in the world if they were to shun everyone who commits serious sins. Point 3. Rather than sacrifice themselves in war like Christendom's members do, faithful Jehovah's Witnesses and their children choose to remain faithful to God by not partaking of blood in the hospital if blood, which is prohibited by God, is the only thing that can save their life. Note, with advances in medicine, loss of life rarely occurs. 
Jehovah's Witnesses are admonished to stay informed on new medical advances in non-blood alternatives published by Jehovah's Witnesses. That way, if an emergency occurs, they will know what options are available. Christendom's members are willing to give up their life to protect country and family. Jehovah's Witnesses are willing to give up their life in order to remain obedient to God as far as death, in imitation of Jesus. Let not my will, but yours, take place. Which sacrifice is the better one? The one made to demons or the one made in obedience to God? Point 4. Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is an angel of very high caliber that Jehovah sent to earth. While many will agree Jesus is called an angel, a messenger, they will deny he is an angel because angels are created beings. If Jesus cannot be an angel because he is God, how was it possible for God to be a baby and be breastfed by a human female? Point 5. Jesus denies that he is God. Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? Nobody is good except one, God. Misconception number 6. Jehovah's Witnesses are a sect of Adventism and Protestantism. The truth, Jehovah's Witnesses are not a sect, a denomination or a division of Adventism or Protestantism. 1. Jehovah's Witnesses were never a part of the Millerite movement or Protestant Reformation. They reject fundamental tenets, beliefs of Adventism and Protestantism as well as fundamental tenets of Catholicism. Because of this, they are labeled as a cult by Christendom. They do not protest against or attempt to reform any religious groups. Their main goal is the preaching work, trying to find Christ's remaining few sheep scattered among the myriads on myriads of goats. 2. Jehovah's Witnesses reject derisive nicknames given to them by their enemies, especially those that foster a sectarian spirit. Jehovah's Witnesses come from all walks of life and from many religious backgrounds. They do not follow imperfect humans as leaders. Their one leader is the Christ. Misconception number 7. Jehovah's Witnesses are false prophets because of their failed date predictions. The truth, Jehovah's Witnesses are not false prophets. A Christian religion is a false prophet. 1. If it falsely claims the gift of inspired predictions, yet the predictions do not come through, for example, papal and prophecy infallibility. Jehovah's Witnesses have never claimed to be an inspired prophet. They believe the gifts of the Spirit have all been done away with. 1 Corinthians 13.8 They do not believe there are any inspired prophets today. There are many inaccurate information said about Jehovah's Witnesses and failed prophecies. Jehovah's Witnesses do not make new prophecies. They only try to understand already written prophecies about events in the end times or last days. Jehovah's Witnesses believe truth is progressive. God reveals end time events gradually, which ultimately leads to changes in their understanding of these events. Of the many failed date predictions listed, only three, 1914, 1925, and 1975, is said to be of importance. The other dates, lies and exaggerations. A Christian religion is a false prophet. 2. If it fails to speak and do God's will, by their fruits Jesus said you will know them. Jehovah's Witnesses are not guilty of failing to speak and do God's will. This will be discussed in the next misconception. Misconception number 8. Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians because they deny mainstream Orthodox teachings. The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians. Jehovah's Witnesses look to the Bible as the final authority on matters and not the teachings of Christendom's churches, for they are sharers with the demons. A Christian is one who knows the teachings of Christ and follows Christ's footsteps or actions closely. Jehovah's Witnesses versus Christendom, who really is Christian in teachings? Many false prophets will arise and mislead many. 1. Do Jehovah's Witnesses mislead through syncretism? Are their teachings rooted in Hellenism, pagan Greek thought and philosophy? 
Do they follow customs that are Christianized paganism, like Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Halloween? 2. Do Jehovah's Witnesses mislead through the doctrines of demons, teaching commands of men as doctrine? For example, Athanasian Creed, Five Points of Calvinism, Nicene Creed, and the Apostles' Creed? Do they advise members to abstain from meat which God created or forbid divorce or marriage? Do they preach that the dead are alive in another sphere or condition of being, like the hellfire doctrine and purgatory? Do they teach heresies, for example, the Incarnation, the Trinity, Mary is the Mother of God, and the Immortal Soul? 3. Do Jehovah's Witnesses mislead through compromise? Do they change doctrines just to fit in with other Christian faiths? Do they seek unity with any Christian or non-Christian religions that sacrifice to demons? Do they change or seek to change Christian teachings on morality through a synod in order to accommodate people of various sexual orientations? Jehovah's Witnesses versus Christendom, who really is Christian in actions? 1. You should love one another as I have loved you. Do Jehovah's Witnesses participate and support war efforts? Do they pick up the sword and slaughter fellow believers of another country, putting the nation's interest above Christian brotherhood and disobeying Christ's command to be no part of the world? 2. Jesus in prayer to God said, I have made your name known and will make it known. Do Jehovah's Witnesses consider God's name unimportant for the universal faith of the Christian church? Did they remove God's name from their translation of the Bible following Jewish superstition and from their religious service or liturgy? 3. Jesus sent the disciples out in twos to preach from house to house and from village to village. How many Christian faiths follow Jesus' footsteps, sending disciples out in twos from house to house and from town to town for the remainder of their lives? How many proclaim the good news of God's kingdom as Jesus commanded at Matthew 24, 14. 4. Jesus had the greatest respect for God's Word. Do Jehovah's Witnesses tolerate immorality by allowing members to remain in good standing? Do they claim man got here by evolution or by some evolutionary process, deistic or theistic? 5. Jesus said of His disciples, They are no part of the world as I am no part of the world. Are Jehovah's Witnesses involved in nationalism, politics, and class struggles? Misconception number 9. Jehovah's Witnesses believe they can earn salvation by working their way into heaven. Their religion is based on works. The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe salvation can be earned. They believe salvation is a free gift from God. Nor is the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses based solely on works. The religion is based on faith and works. Jehovah's Witnesses believe faith that lacks works is dead. By works, Jehovah's Witnesses mean works involved in worshiping God. For example, the life-saving work of making disciples and conducting Bible studies, attending religious meetings, singing and praying to God and studying God's Word, practicing works that befit repentance from works of the flesh, like fornication, idolatry, sorcery, sects and divisions, drunkenness, etc., and humanitarian aid to the holy ones in times of need, for example, disasters and widows. Jehovah's Witnesses believe if we do not obey God, we do not truly love Him and believe in the rightness of His ways. Thus, works demonstrate the genuineness of our faith and love. Jehovah's Witnesses show their faith by their works. Misconception number 10. Jehovah's Witnesses are non-souls who deny having a soul. They believe the only soul you have is the sole of your foot. The truth. Jehovah's Witnesses are not non-souls. Jehovah's Witnesses are living souls who enjoy life. Jehovah's Witnesses reject Christendom's definition of the soul as the spiritual or immortal part of a human being or an invisible you that survives the body at death. They believe the soul has two meanings. Firstly, the soul can refer to a person or an animal. For example, I have been standing at this bus stop for an hour, and I have not seen a single soul, person. 
Eight souls, persons, survived the flood of Noah's day. Secondly, the soul can refer to the life a person or animal enjoys. For example, God told Moses, Go, return to Egypt, because all the men who were hunting for your soul, wanting to take your life, are dead. Fear not those who kill the body but cannot destroy the soul, your future life. Jehovah's Witnesses believe when humans die they become dead souls, persons, because they lost their soul, life. In conclusion, Jehovah's Witnesses accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and walk closely in Jesus' footsteps. Although they are not under the law covenant, Jehovah's Witnesses believe they are not without law towards God and are under law towards the Christ. Galatians 6.2 By the help of God's Spirit, they can follow the commands in order that they may be judged favorably by that law. For it is the law of that Spirit which gives life in union with Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 2 and 4